السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are And I wish that you have uh, a nice day today, a nice weekend coming Inshallah, and I wish that all your days are happy, safe and uh, prosperous Today we'll talk about zero point As you can see, the title of our talk today, zero point. Where we start from? We start from zero. Okay? My proverb, or our proverb is, always the leader creates the flow. And let the flow to follow him or her. The leader creates the flow and let the flow to follow him or her. Next one, please. The leader does not follow the flow because he is a leader or she is a leader. We're talking about building our community after conflict, after war, after coming back from displacement, or the places where we became refugees at. Our zero point starts, I'll just go through these 10 points, starts with the leader himself or herself, then the closest friend. This is our zero point. Next one, please. Then we we'll go from there to create the direction, which I call it the flow, to manage the path, to sustain the path. Next, please. Collect the resources, redirecting the path, redistribution of the shares or our resources. Number, the, the last one. Building communities and connecting communities. Okay? So, the zero point for me, which coming in the next slide, is, no, before that. No, this is the one, the, the one. This is the leader which is anybody and anybody that understand the mechanics of the community, its culture, its diverse culture, its diverse faith, values, history, geographical background, language, and everything. That's why when you look at it sometime, you think this looks like a clown. No, he's not a clown. Or she's not a clown. These colors reflect her or his ability to understand the diversity of their society or community. The lines, the black lines, you can see it, represent his or her ability to understand the social climate change which might affect the community. Whoever stands on this spot under the limelight, he will be able and capable to absorb the diversity of the community and to understand the mechanisms of the social climate and the climate social change. or the change of the social climates with the lines and with the different colors. He's not a clown. She's not a clown by any way. People sometimes think that he or she as looks like a clown. No, he, he or she are able people to understand the mechanics and the mechanisms of the mechanics of the growth and the diversity of the society they are going to lead. Next one. Such an individual, come back to the first one again. Such an individual has a dream for the community. But the good leader, he, will, he or she will involve a core group to work with him to let them to believe in such a dream. In this image, you find that the leader in the middle, in the black color, and the, or the green and the orange and the pink are his closest friends, 
that he or she trusts. They sat down to find what is direction to try to rebuild the community after the conflict. As you can see from the arrows, there are about 10 directions. Heavy debate, heated discussion. But at the end of the day, they have to agree on one direction. Whether such a direction was the original direction that the leader in black would like to take them through, or he was convinced, or she was convinced to listen to the discussion and to create this direction which going this side. So, and at the zero point, the zero point for us, time-wise, will take at least one year or maximum two years to build the core team. The nine circles in the middle are the core teams. The core team that the leader trusts and all of them will make the, the two, one, uh, this, this team which the leader trusts to, to go ahead together to make the direction. Next one, please. If we look at this image, we go from zero point, which took one to two years, to identify the direction. Number one is direction. Oh, everybody from different districts, from different area, from different cities, from different time, from towns, bridges, after the conflict, will know where the direction is. To one direction to collect the resources. So the, the, the direction that has been made by zero point is number one, everybody going there. Number two and three, they will create the path. And they will sustain the path. The path here is not a road, is not a bridge, is not a street, is not a building. The path is to raise the awareness of the community, to educate the community, okay? To let the community understand their rights. To let the citizens or the individuals in the community to understand their rights. Okay? To let them to see the bigger vision. To make them aware of the surroundings. Aware of the internal risks and challenges and the external risks and challenges. That's why this is not a road, a concrete or tarmac, no. It's it, is, it is education, information, knowledge, advocacy, awareness, 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 awareness. And comprehensive understanding of the phases that they'll be going through. Hardship, challenges before they build their community again. And this process, two and three, or one, two and three, will take from four to five years. So zero point took one to two years. Uh, stage one, two, three will take about four to five years because this is where the advocacy process will start and the education and the information and teaching the individual citizens in the community. So everybody here will go to reach the central point. The central point is number four, is where we collect our resources. Our resources are not money. Our resources are knowledge. Our resources are, could be social, could be political, could be uh, mineral, could be geographical, could be climate, knowledge about climate, could be anything. Could be human resources. All this information should be put into number four, which comes from the different directions, from the far right, the far left, the far north, the far south, everybody. This city has got such resources, it's a very rich city, a very rich district, and this community has got 
a lot of human resources, highly educated. A second district or people come from different directions, each one of them will put the resources on the table. So the central leadership will be able to know, understand, comprehend the wealth of their communities, which are coming from different directions. And sitting in the middle in stage number four means this will take about one to two years to agree on the wealth that we have, and then we'll start the redistribution of the wealth to start to create our community. So zero point was one to two years, point one, two, three, four to five years of advocacy, point four, one to two years, two are talking about from five to, uh, to five, nine years. Okay? From, uh, from six to nine years, this end. But during the time of being together here, the one or two years, it was still doing the process of advocacy. Advocacy, training, uh, education, uh, awareness, as non-stop process. It's not only four or five years and we stop, no way. While we are here and they are discussing this here, we're still carrying on in these two years. Doesn't stop. Five years here, two years here, becomes seven years. Next one, please. Once we understand our resources, we agree after two years that the resources here, will, here where we think each, each leader coming from each direction, see all this direction, would love to build the community, which is number, which is in, in, in yellow here. So what will happen in number four in the middle here will divide the resources according to to the needs of each community here that we need to build. See these circles in yellow, number seven. So you find the dark green coming here, coming back, coming back, coming back. It's number five. Go back to give the share to each local leadership, each local leadership, the local leadership in this year. So number five and six will measure the resources they have, create the administration which will be able to manage such resources to build this community. This is number five and this is number six, the small uh, uh, admin administration in the locality call it uh, on the district level, on the city level, on the village level, on the area level. So they will take their share from the general pot and manage the share to build such a community. We said one to two years for the zero point, four to five years, to create the path, one to two years to understand the resources, the collective resources, one to two years to redistribute the resources here and to create the local administration. Then once we start building the actual community, this will take four to five years again. What we will build here? Here we will build institutions, organizations. We will build the bridges, the roads, the schools, the clinics, the worship centers, the market, and everything with whatever resources we got from number four. So it takes another four to five years. Within this 14 or 15 years of long agony of collecting, understanding, and debating and redistributing the resources will never stop the process of educating the citizens on their rights and advocating for their rights and telling them the rights. So the process of awareness, understanding, realization, 
education advocacy is from zero point onwards it's a non stop process it cross cut every stage what we see nowadays people might think that because we have a lot of resources like the rich countries who do not have a strong civil society organization or sectors they think that with the money they can do everything no way money cannot buy you a brain or cannot make brain to function better but the people who has the brain will be able to create the money to find the money to develop the society and build the community we found a lot of a lot of countries who were very wealthy in the 70s 80s and 90s and now because they because they did not have this human resources and this kind of understanding of awareness education they became a, a failing states such as Iraq Syria and Libya because their leadership were actually control freak okay so now we understand this zero point to get the idea one two three is to go the direction and build the paths and raise the awareness number four is to collect the resources five and six redistribute the resources actually and manage the resources on the local level number seven which is the yellow here is to build the community when this will take about four to five years ago coming back to the central authority and the local authority i gave this example yesterday when i was giving my talk in arabic said when i visited iraq in 1996 to distribute qurbani there was no way that you ship transfer or carry food material or any items from district to district or from city to city or from town to town or from village to village without the permission of the central authority this was the killing factor of a rich country which prevents the process of communication between citizens that's why iraq libya and uh, uh, syria became what we see nowadays okay so we had to take a permission from the minister to transfer the meat from baghdad to karbala to najaf okay to basra to salah din to mosul to samra to ana rawa Haditha, Heat, and Ambar. Everything was here in the central authority. Why you bought this black color? It's number eight. To connect, communicate between the local communities in different areas. Because they should know what's happening next door neighbor. Each one of them. See, this one community, this one community is number seven, and the, mid, the middle is the communication between them. So we have got vertical communication with the central authority. Then we have got horizontal edu- uh, communication with the local authorities. Whether this local authorities is in, in the neighborhood, okay, or in any other local authority. So the more freedom space you give to the citizen the more the more powerful your society and your community will become look at the image here you find this connection between this community this community and connection between the paths here if we do not have this black uh, connection black spot here in a uh, color here it will be just long line and everybody is relying totally on the central authority it will be like loose ends here 
lose end, lose end, lose end, lose end. But once we connect those together, we'll tighten the network of the mesh of the wires which is building and laying down the foundation of the community. And this one you are, if you are a civil, if you are a civil engineer or a structural engineer, you lay the foundation down by putting the steel bars in the foundation and in the columns and the bars, then tying them by the wire. These are the steel bars, which is uh, pink. This is not pink. This oh, yeah, looks like pink. And the yellow. But the wire, uh, and the uh, pink and the yellow, and pink and the yellow. But the wire, which the civil engineers will use in the structure and putting in the, in, in the foundation, is the black. Without having such a wire tightening and tying the steel bars, you don't have a foundation. You don't have a building. That's why from zero point till point number eight, it takes about 15 to 20 years of hard work and challenging. Sub patience, dedication, steadfastness, and focusing. Some community could be building this time. Some community could be building longer time. It does not make any difference. What difference we have is to know the process of building, to strengthen the process of communication on the local level and on the national level, on a district level, to know our resources, to be totally independent, totally depending, 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 depending on our local resources. From zero point to point number eight, don't, 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 don't take foreign money or foreign investment. It's a challenge. Because if you want to build the foundation, any foreign money at that time could be conditioned on you to change your path change your, your, your vertical and horizontal communication between your local communities and the local communities and the leadership could be bringing you a new model. So you have to be totally relying on your local resources. Don't be deceived by the foreign investors who can come and take the cream of your society or your resources and leave you behind as a beggar. Be careful. Be careful and be careful. The one after that. And this when you look at our community after 12, 15 to 20 years, it's not a magic. This is not a magic. It's not a magic to do it. It's been done before. It's been done by Prophet Yusuf السلام, It took him 15 years or 14 years to build or to rebuild the Egyptian society in a strong state at that time. It took Prophet Muhammad وسلم, 23 years to take the nomad the Bedouin and make them master of humanity that came 23 years the Bedouin used to kill one another used to drink blood used to treat women badly okay like uh, whatever you call it but what you need what you see nowadays from the sexual relationship between man and woman was there in Christ at that time swapping getting a, a, fr a, a man for your wife to sleep with your wife, to have the baby from him, group six with one woman, and so on, so on, so on, so on. So It was there. And Prophet Muhammad took him 23 years to have a chisel 
and the hammer and to get this filth from the mind of those Bedouin who are living, who are actually the most backward of societies that actually were living at that time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent him to such a society to change them through his leadership to become the master of humanity. This happened also in Malaysia recently where the, the, the government in Malaysia in 23 or 20, 20, 23 years managed to get Malaysia from the failing state into one of the nine tigers. Because they were focusing and building the infrastructure of the country and one of the most important elements of such infrastructure was education. They were spending more than 20% more than 20 on education for 20 years. That's why they become now one of the nine tigers on South East. Look at some other wealthy countries in the Middle East. They spend more than 70% of their budget on security measures and on military. And leave the whole country suffering on social ground, on moral ground. And all the facilities, their education became at the bottom of the table. Their health condition became at the bottom of the table. Their human rights became at the bottom of the table. Because what? Because they invest heavily in security, military, and the intelligence. And what you see nowadays in the Arab world is exactly what we're talking about. Invest in people. Invest in education, invest in building awareness, invest in communication and networking, invest in building society, invest in building civil society, invest in widening, increasing the civil liberty space, invest in human being. Not in oil, not in gas, not only in tourism. Because human being is the axis which the society will spin around him. Human being as a citizen is the axis whom the society will spin around him. If you don't invest in him, you have a fragile state controlled by security and military. Then you have failing state dictated by military and security. So coming back to say it's not magic. But people have to be realistic, aware, and focus. On the other side, be determined, patient, and do not lose hope. And we will build, we will rebuild together countries like South Sudan, Countries like Libya, countries like Yemen, countries like Iraq, countries like uh, Syria, countries like Afghanistan, and so on and so on and so on and so on. And will help people from Myanmar to go back, from Eritrea to go back, from everywhere. And this will be our message and our mission when we look back at the zero point uh, steps from zero point to number eight where we can build a strong society based on communication, networking, awareness, education, understanding. This is what we want after the conflict. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you inshallah next week.